Hey family, how's it going? This is your girl Marissa and I'm here with a cooking recipe. I'm really excited about this because I'm making the classic chicken pot pie. Um, I found out about this, rest, this recipe um, a week ago, a week before a week after, it was last week, a week after, I was actually thinking about having a chicken pot pie. And um, I was going to go ahead and buy it. Well, um, I'm newly subscribed to a lovely lady named Miss J. Stunner. And um, I found out about her originally because um, she is subscribed to somebody I'm subscribed to that it, uh, does nails. And so she left a comment and I said, let me check out her channel. And um, I was checking it out actually for nails and I found out that she has actual uh, food recipes on there as well. And so I saw this and she was saying how easy it is and when she demonstrated it, I thought this is really easy. I could really do this. So I'm very excited. Now I'm just going to go through what I have and then um, I'll do a step by step showing you how to prepare it. Okay, so the first thing as you guys know is is the chicken is and um my chicken I decided to boil it her chicken she cooked it in a crock pot and she cook um she cooked it with stock and she seasoned it with my chicken I decided to um broil it and um to uh cook it with water instead of stock and I didn't season it um once it cooled and I um took it out of the pot and it cooled and I um, just chopped it up. I didn't. I decided not to cube it like she did. And I tasted, it and it tastes so good and juicy. I just decided to leave it like that because I will be seasoning it later when I put all the mixtures together. Okay. So another thing I got was this um, kicking chicken seasoning from Weber's. The one that she has is from McCormick. And it was rotisserie chicken. And I was trying to look for it and I couldn't find it. So I said, well, let me try something different and new. Um, one thing that she did have is this parsley flakes. And um, I wasn't going to try the parsley flakes because I didn't have it here in my pantry. And I like to use what I have. And um, I actually went to the 99 cent store today. And while I was there, someone told me to look. And, of course, I saw it there. The next thing is this cream of chicken and it's one can and it could be any, you know, um, name brand. It doesn't matter. The next thing is this mixed vegetable, the classics mixed vegetable from Bird's Eye. And again, that could be any um, company, doesn't matter. And then I got uh, two deep dish pie crust and this is from Kroger. Okay, so I'm going to come back and show you guys how I prepare it. I also have my oven on on 400 at this time. So um, I'll come back, you guys. Hey, family. So I am back, and um, I'm finished with seasoning and adding the chicken and, at the ve and adding the vegetables, as you guys can see. The one thing that I forgot to tell you guys about was adding a little bit of chicken broth. And I just eyeballed it, but it, I guess you can add like three to five tablespoons of it. And just to make it kind of like juicy. And I would say as you're adding, add a little bit, then uh, swirl it around with the spoon and then kind of, you know, taste and see um, if it's to your liking. Now, what happened with my shell is it broke. And that's not a problem because when uh, Miss J. Stunner was doing hers, um, hers didn't break as much as mine did, but it did break at the top. And she showed us how she fixed it. So I have an idea. What I was doing, and it is, if you guys could see, I'm wearing gloves because I'm not the only one who will be eating this. And I do have nails, my own nails, and I also have decals on it. And I definitely don't want the decals that are coming off now to fall into the food. So I'm just using my thumb and I'm kind of moving it back. Now she used a knife and it would be best if um, I used a knife. But it is kind of soft now because it was kept out a little longer than it sh probably should have been. But I'm learning so that's okay. And you guys are learning with me right? Okay. So let's see. 
So I'm going to take this and like she did, I'm going to put my shell on top. She didn't put any on the bottom, but she was telling us if that, you know, if we like it like that where you have the shell at the bottom and the shell at the top, you know, um, we could use the two pie crust, but I decided to use the one pie crust like her and just to do it like this. And this is our second pie crust, but I won't be using that. So I'm going to put that to the side. And when I was um, getting the groceries today, I, I kind of could tell that the pie crust had uh, fallen apart a little bit in, the, in this pie, um, in this plastic, but that's okay too. I'm just going to use everything I have and, you know, just put it around here. And I think that's good. That's enough. Now I'm going to get um, a knife and I'm going to slit the pie crust a little bit, making whole so it can breed and when it's ready, it has room to kind of spill out a little bit. And I think that's enough. So I already set my um, oven at 400 and I'm going to put the pie in. And then when it's ready, um, I, I think she said between 15 and 20 minutes. Um, so after 15 minutes, I'm going to kind of eyeball it and see if it's to my liking. Um, I kind of like mine's medium dark a little bit, but I, I will see. And so I'm going to put it in the oven and then I'll come back. All right, family. So here I am uh, showing you the um, ending result of my chicken pot pie. I did taste some and it tastes so good, you guys. Um, I cannot wait to uh, dig in. Um, it did break up a little bit, but it was kind of to be expected, especially since it didn't come whole. But I really like how the crust came out and I love the um, filling. I love the fact that I had um, some juice in there and it, w it didn't come out dry. So, bon appetit, you guys. I hope you guys like the tutorial. If you want more, just let me know. And I hope you understood everything um, I did on here. If you didn't, just add, um, ask questions. And I will make sure to have the ingredients there for you as well as the information uh, for Miss J. Stunner. Miss J. Stunner's sister. This is the business. Thank you so much for sharing it. Bye-bye, y'all. Smooches.